Thank you for joining my channel for your daily love message. So I'm going to tip you on down here so we can see what you need to know for today. All right, the first card that came out is the Three of Cups. Your person's energy. You guys could be feeling really drained lately. Um, feeling like you've put in, been putting a lot in in love and you're not getting back out um, what you want. But that's a separate message. The person you are dealing with is the Ten of Pentacles. The energy coming in for you is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Spirit's advice for this connection. Here's advice for our air signs. Here's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. And the outcome of this, the Wheel of Fortune wanted to flip, but it didn't. What's the outcome of this situation today? The Queen of Wands, nice. Okay, bottom of your deck is the Seven of Wands with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So with the Seven of Wands, your guys' shared energy, you guys <coughs> could have been feeling like you have to defend your worth, defend your value to somebody, convince somebody of how much you, how much value you bring to your life and it's exhausting. You could be dealing with somebody who's very selfish, very um, very concerned about their own needs and wants. Um, there could be a third party here just because the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups are both here. Both signify three people in this situation. One of which is not caring about the effects of the other person. Um, it's also clarified with the Ace of Wands. So this could have been a very passionate um, situation, but... Uh, Yeah, at one point in time, you were very passionate about moving forward with this person or them, you. But now you just feel like, like you're not getting enough. Like that message I was saying in the beginning, it's like they don't, they're not concerned about what you are, are getting out of the connection. So let's see why this Three of Cups is here for our air signs. Why is the Three of Cups here? Air signs, you could be the one that has the third party um, for some of you. Why is the Three of Cups here? For others, there's no third party. It's just you're feeling exhausted. Wow, way too many. Um, you feel like you're constantly having to defend yourself with this person. Um, like they're not giving you enough. You want more. Why is the Three of Cups here for our air signs? Thank you. The Nine of Cups. So there is a lot of... There is a lot of growth here. There is a lot of room for this to go um, in a uh, in a different direction. But there's a definite imbalance of energy here. Um, you you could be giving way too much, um, but the person that you're dealing with, the devil and the hierophant, could be an earth sign. All three of these cards are earth signs, but they still have a family. This person makes you so happy. This person is everything you want. You're very passionate about this person. But it's like you got to constantly defend and beg for time with them because they're not giving you what you need out of this connection. Even though their passion is here, it's more you need more than just sex. You need more. This is all about passion. But you need more than that. You need a life with this person, um, not just a life in the bedroom. So although this person makes you very, very happy, and they're who you want to spend your future with, they're still connected and married to somebody else. Could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn, Virgo's there as well, but there is definitely a marriage um, that they are dealing with. 
in the future coming the energy coming in for you it is the ace of cups in reverse feeling drained why is the ace of cups in reverse here thank you okay so there they are or you are whoever has a third party is taking that one cup away from that other person so they can move forward towards you towards the person they're passionate about towards the person that fills their cups so while there is three cups in this energy in the future the one of those cups will be taken away so the two of you can focus on your passion and love for each other creating something new um, emotional fulfillment is coming for you the nine plus the one even though it's in reverse becomes the 10. So they are ending a relationship or ending a cycle with whoever else is in the picture right now. Um, but Spirit's advice to you is not to contribute to them while they are juggling. Do not nurture this relationship. Do not give them permission to juggle. Stand your ground, um, make your boundaries be known, and then stick by it. Why is it two pentacles here? Because there is three people in the situation and that has to end. The transformation process has to begin and the three needs to be eliminated to two and when that happens um they will come back to you why is the queen of pentacles here in reverse yeah so make them make a decision do not contribute to the third party quit nurturing this juggling uh energy because when you do big love is coming in for you some passion is coming in for you this means this could mean you walking away um, and that this is what you get when you do. When you no longer give your cup to this uh, selfish person, to this third party, cross watchers, I'm sorry, but this person, a third party is selfish. Um, this person has to get out of this connection with that other family before this can move forward. So um, whether you be walking away and somebody new comes in for you to give you this, or you walk away and they end the third party and come towards you. Either way, you're going to find love. You're going to find your confidence. You're um, no longer feeling stuck and trapped uh, by this situation. You're getting out of the trap. No, getting out of your head. You're finding your confidence again. You're finding your, you're getting your sexy back. Like, this is an amazing energy. You're taking that leap of faith in the future it's clarifying the seven of wands you're walking away look how they have their backs to each other you're walking away from a connection where you have to constantly beg them to see them to have time for you to to uh you know answer your messages back whatever it is you're walking away from that and you're taking a leap of faith for the future ahead um you could be receiving a message from somebody from your past um this is somebody you have been with in this relationship or in this lifetime before but you're leaving the deception and the cheating and the deceit behind and you're following your passion. Um, you do have somebody who is watching, keeping a close eye on you. But if air sign, there is a tower here um, ending major cycles in your life or theirs. You walking away could be delivering this tower to them. Ending a cycle. Ending the um, juggling act. Ending the um, being having to beg i just keep hearing begging for time like would you know can i please see you what do you you know when are you going to make time for me and you're no longer wanting to be a part of that and you shouldn't have to be you shouldn't have to beg somebody to spend time with you that's not how it works so air sign do what's best for you make yourself happy with that nine of cups and set your boundaries what's the advice for today the 7th of August. Thank you. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And divine timing is at work here. Like I said, you are going to get a message from somebody of your past. Somebody that you have been with in this lifetime. Or that could be the person you are with and you have to wait for them to leave that family. But this is a reconciliation. So, I mean, this is a divine partner coming back for you. This could be the one. You've already been with this person. So in this lifetime, you have been with this person. They are returning, but you must set your boundaries. You must be confident. You must have the strength to speak what you want 
and not fold. You have to wait for the right offer. If it's not good enough for you, try again because they're worth the wait, but you have to stand your ground and let them know what you need and want. And they'll come back for you. They'll come back, but you have to stand your ground because that is part of a divine lesson, knowing your worth and sticking to it, not settling for less air signs. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless.